How you doing, folks? You ever see this light come on in, on your BMW? Um, well, I have a 328XI here. It's a 2008. And uh, we're going to get to the bottom of this code here. It's a faulty code, airbag. It could be various reasons why this light comes on. So we're going to get to the root problem. Okay? We have a scanner here. Okay, it's good for BMWs. So we hit OK. Go to Diagnose. And we have a 3 Series. E92 chassis. And let's go to Body. Alright, that's an airbag light. So we're going to hit Airbag Crash Safety uh, Module to figure it all out. You hit OK. All right, so it's definitely coming coming up with a code here, and um, so if it wasn't anything, it, it would say there's no issues. So we hit back, read trouble codes, and there it is. You're ready. Belt tensioner passenger. All right, so if that's the belt te uh, tensioner passenger, then that has to do with your buckle. The female side and it has to do with the one right next door to me here and so I have the replacement which is right here and I'm gonna go ahead and try to put it in so I can get rid of that pesty code that I keep seeing in my car all right Okay, so now we're approaching the passenger side of the vehicle here and uh, so I mean you can take the seat out uh, it's probably your best bet to get under there and grab that that buckle um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that and this seat is held down by four bolts this is the back bolts okay and then there's some in the front there that you can't really see, but it's the same bolts. Uh, you're gonna need a Torx uh, to remove them. Okay, I've already loosened them, so basically just take the, take this out like so. So that was easy. Uh, you're gonna need a Torx, and you're gonna need to remove the seat by taking these bolts out here, front and back. This is just the back. All right. It's all four bolts out. Seat is basically out. Now you see these connections here. These are airbag systems here. Okay, the buckles on this side on the side and we're gonna have to remove that out okay and unplug it from the main module here the yellow and so that's a little gray piece right there that is your buckle the gray piece that gets plugged into that yellow module there so we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to disconnect these wires so we can easily get that seat belt buckle out and start working that's the yellow module Move this black part here and then you just pop that out easy okay so now we have the airbag system disconnected from the seat and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start trying to take the buckle part out so now I just pop these two pieces out of there it's a little difficult but it's not that bad like you think um, just had to pull these out 
with like your fingernails or you could use a flat screwdriver and then they just come right out okay so there's the seatbelt buckle there and uh we almost got this thing out now all right i'm gonna pop this piece out remove that and now now we have better access to that buckle okay so we need to take this off this got the right torques on there and it looks like it's coming so, it's coming down Alright, screws loose. Let's twist it out. We got it out. Let's take a look at this. That faulty buckle. Alright, throw that down. Alright, so we're gonna grab this new one here and just throw that in there. Just the way just the way we took it out, put it right back in. It's a new one. And then after that, we'll uh, we'll start clearing the code here. This is the easy part. Um, is putting it back on. So yeah, you'll be very happy once you know that you save so much money than going to BMW dealership and getting this done. I'll tell you, it costs money. All right, so we put it back in. All right, this wire here came across. And we just stick it under there, snap that back in, right here, looks like a ground or something, and just stick that right in there, snap it right in, see, goes in easy, and come back to the module here, and uh, this part went in first, so I'm going to put that back in. Okay, so that's the, the seatbelt one. I'm gonna stick it in there, it's like Legos. Isn't that easy? Shaped like Legos in there. You just match it. Match the wiring here. Okay, this one, somebody put a yellow mark here, which that shows you that's the top side of it. I'm trying to hold the phone. There we go. Now it's in. Okay. I'm gonna leave this part out because you're gonna throw the other the other module back inside. So snap this part out and leave it out. There we go, that part. Okay, ready to put things back together. Snap this little cable holder right in there. And I'm gonna put this back on the rails like it was so let's go there we go put that in close that up all right looking good all right that's back in there right in there man job almost done all right so now we're at the the front bolts i'm gonna put the front part of the bolts and uh just put them in there like so make sure they sit in right okay don't want any problems here make sure that's going in there that's going in there so we have to do the front and the back bolts Wasn't that bad of a job, huh? Something you can do yourself now. Now, uh, I didn't disconnect the battery for this job, uh, but I'm gonna recommend that you do. It's your first time, you know never want to play with BMW electronic stuff and 
airbag stuff without disconnecting the battery. Alrighty, so now we're back to this. And we're gonna try to uh, clear up the cords. Okay. So as you can see, the light is still there. I'm gonna go to this. Go to diagnose. Gotta go to uh, body. Okay. And then, uh, hit okay on that. See what comes up. Alright. Let's read trouble codes. Okay. And then, uh, go to erase trouble codes. Fault codes is erased. This, this scanner tool is amazing. Saved me a lot of money. So, there we go, folks. And like I said earlier, uh, this code could be different reasons. I was just able to narrow it down because of this tool. Alrighty. So, go out and get you an ODB scanner. And get right down to the bottom because these, these are nice cars. Uh, very good in quality. Treat them in the right way, and they're amazing.